Let's go to your calls and thoughts. Vincent is in New Jersey. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Vincent. Hi, good evening. Hey, you're listening to uh, WVNJ. Thanks. Go ahead. Thanks for taking my call. I appreciate it. Um, I, I started listening to your show yesterday for the first time. I desperately tried to call in. I was unable to, so I'm happy I got through tonight. Oh, yeah, it's a lot um, easier to call on Sunday than Saturday night. Glad you tried again. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, um, I have to say, um, listening to you guys, I agree with so much of what you say. On one hand, and I so sharply disagree on the other. Excellent. We're and doing I'm our jobs we well, then. Friend. Yes. Now, I'm a freedom-loving person. I agree that our own government has overreached its boundaries and infiltrates the private lives of our citizens and our personal property and overtaxes us. All right. I think most Americans totally agree with that. But when you go as far as to say, oh, this whole United States test is a failure and let's just wrap the whole country up and start all over – well, to me, that's extreme. That's not what I said. It's close to it's close to what I said. What I said was the United States is a failure. It's a failed experiment in freedom because obviously we're not getting more free over time. Uh, so it's time to scrap it and, uh, and then secession. You know, let's just end the United States. That doesn't mean New Hampshire would need to start over. We're still here. Everything's okay here in New Hampshire, and I. I wouldn't want to start this over. I wouldn't want to start this experiment over again. There'd probably be allegiances between most of the states, right? I mean, there would probably they'd probably make um, uh, you know uh, agreements between each other to move things back and forth and that kind of thing, right? I, w- I don't see any reason for an agreement. Just well, let people travel. Here's what I would like to say. Yeah, I believe that our Constitution, the way it's constructed, our Bill of Rights is fine. What happens is. We get corrupt politicians who don't follow the Constitution and violate the laws, and nobody is holding them accountable. And, of course, when the government is as powerful as it is, it makes the average citizen feel helpless or rendered helpless. To, to How do you that. hold them accountable? And what is the punishment for violating the Constitution for somebody, you know, some, some uh, person who works for the government? Well, that's that's the problem. That is the problem with the Constitution. It should have said we'll lop their heads off on Central Square or on the on the mall in Washington, D.C. I mean, honestly, this is the document that you're defending. It has no teeth. Well, okay, but I mean, a law is no law unless it has a punishment. Right. You you walk across the street when the light's not the right color. You have to spend, you know, 30 days in jail or pay one hundred and fifty dollar fine. You violate the Constitution. It says Nothing, because it was intended to be violated from the beginning. Well, I hope you're wrong about that. That's pretty well, then, sad. Then, then what you're but, doing is you're holding up the founding fathers as though they're some kind of very special individuals, when what they were was politicians grabbing for power. Well, I, I hope that's not correct. I've never <laughs> I, I hope that they However, rewrite a constitution that has a punishment for violating well, it, because what I've seen is more than 200 years of violations. You, you claim to be a freedom lover. This yes. is a, the freest country on the planet. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry about that. No, no. I'm you, surprised you still believe that one. Tell me, tell me the Tell me the better country then. There's about well, a dozen. You know, hold on, you've just you've just you've just moved yeah, the goalpost. Yep, there's about a you dozen. You asked me what the freest country was on the. You asked you, yeah. asked, you you claim to have the freest country, and then you said, "Well, what? Tell me which country's better." I'm not going to claim to know which country's better because better is far more subjective than free. You can quantify free. You can say free trade. You can see. You can look at economic policies. You can look at social policies, and you can see which ones are freer. And they do that in a couple of studies every single year. There's one by the Cato Institute, and I believe the Fraser Institute, and, uh, and then there's another one the by Heritage, the Heritage Foundation. Heritage they Foundation. do their own study. So these are U.S.-based organizations. So two and of not, those are, the U.S. doesn't come in on number one on any of them. It doesn't them. even come in on the top ten in these studies, man. Number one, Canada's Hong Kong, freer. Number and it didn't have to fight a revolutionary war. In in both of the studies, the number one and number two countries are always the same. It's Canada, or excuse me, not Canada. It's uh, Hong Kong followed by Singapore. That's economically and, free. Singapore is a really socially um, dismal place to well, live. Well, that's what they're looking at is that is economic that's freedom. That's the two tests. One of them um, includes social, and, and Singapore is not at the top of oh, the really? list. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. okay. Um, but yeah, it, whether you look at economic or social freedoms, the United States is not in the top ten by any study that we've seen in the last decade. Well, I would have to do my own research on that. You should, please However, do. Fraser Institute. I'm, 
Heritage uh, Heritage Foundation and Cato Institute. They each one just look at, look for freedom freedom of the world charts, and you'll find several of them. And you'll find the United States isn't in it. And they got and as much is, data as you want to crunch, man. And, and, and as a freedom lover, look, and I started doing this. You're including the rights of citizens, the, the freedom. Uh, rights don't mean anything if the government doesn't respect them. Well, I I don't feel. I mean, me personally. I get up, I work when I want. I don't work when I don't want to. I'm self-employed. If I want to go to the movies or go someplace, I mean, I feel that I have plenty of freedom. That's awesome. I can dress how I choose within reason. Um, and with all due respect, I'm not quite following your point. Um, Which point? And I Which point? I haven't traveled the world. You called us. That we're not a free society. I didn't, I didn't say that. claim it was a free. Uh, you weren't a free society. Um, the the no, both, no, no. all it, of these charts are going to show that the United States fits in the category of free. But you said you, you were wanting to know which countries were freer, and we informed right. you. You of made several the claim that it, that it was the freest country in the world. We rebutted that claim. We didn't say there weren't any freedoms here. Yes, you are more free in the United States than you would be in, say, Venezuela or Russia or uh, North most, Korea. Most countries and on the most planet. Countries, yeah. Yeah, so there's no doubt it's in the top 20, but it's not in the top 10. These are the realizations that I came to after being on the show. This has been 12 years doing a libertarian radio program, and believe me, I believed all this stuff too. The average person isn't doing this research. It isn't popping up on uh, websites because major news outlets are not, th- uh, you know, they're not, they're not going to thrill people by saying, yeah. oh, turns out this isn't the freest, freest country but in the what world. What do you know? And those soldiers have been dying all along who are fighting for your freedoms? Looks like they must be fighting for something else because freedom hasn't been increasing. Okay, I'm open-minded to researching that further before Excellent. I do Please do well, call, call back, back because yeah. I want I want to hear about uh, your journey um, checking out uh, this information. Yeah, I know you you're new to the show, so welcome. I'm excited to learn when I'm wrong because I want to know. Every time that I'm mistaken, I need to be able to change my opinion and mold it to new information. Vincent, thanks for your call tonight. We'll look forward to hearing from you again at some point if you want to continue the discussion. I appreciate it.